Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video with me, Ben Grist. I was at a wedding the other day of one of my old childhood friends, and it was incredible to see her all dressed up, uh, amazing, walking down the aisle to meet her future husband. But what I absolutely love, I love the celebration, the party, and everything really. But what it reminds me of is one of the stories in Genesis, in Genesis chapter 24, where we've got Abraham, who's getting old a bit. He's about 140 years old at this point. We've got Sarah, his wife, who's just died, and his son, Isaac, who's about 40 years old, and he is looking for a wife. To cut a long story short, Abraham sends a servant out to a distant land to try and find the correct wife for his son, Isaac. And eventually, when the servant is sitting by a well, Rebecca comes forward and she is incredible. She is the perfect woman for the job. And the servant knows that God has chosen Rebecca to be the one to be Isaac's wife. So the servant, he is amazed and he praises God saying, thank you so much. Thank you God for answering my prayer. And thank you for your faithfulness to my master Abraham. The servant is so insistent on finishing the command that he had been set that before eating or sleeping, he decides to go and tell Rebecca's family exactly how he had got to this point and what his command was. So once he had done that, Laban, her brother, is amazed and he says, I can't say which way or another, but what I do know is that this is from God. Here is Rebecca, take her back with you and she can be Isaac's wife. And that's just incredible. But then the story gets a little bit more interesting after sleeping over for the night, Rebecca's family are a bit more uh, conscious about holding on to her a little bit longer. They don't want to say goodbye to her forever. So they ask, why, why don't you stay for a little while? But then it comes to this verse. In verse 57, it says, let's call the young woman and ask her about it. So they called Rebecca and asked her, will you go with this man? Actually, in many ways, I would say uh, God relates to Abraham in this story and we've got how uh, Isaac represents the son and the servant in many ways represents the Holy Spirit as, as we think about this story. But Rebecca represents us because each and every one of us, just like Rebecca, have a choice. Not necessarily to get married or not, but the choice whether or not to join God's family and journey with him for the rest of our lives. I was sharing about this the other day and it struck me about Rebecca's trust. She had incredible trust in God that this was what God wanted for her. There are so many things that could have stopped Rebecca from leaving with the servant. It was easy to hang around with her family. It, the journey would have been tough. She didn't even know what was waiting for her on the other side. She hadn't even met Isaac who was going to be her future husband. But actually, on the other hand, she knew that this was from God and she had to trust God. There have been so many things in the last couple of years that have required me to trust God. And God has been teaching me so much about trust. Not only in YWAM, doing my discipleship training school, but even this last year, knowing actually what does God want for me. I shared in one of my previous videos about me going through this discernment process with the Church of England and how actually I've had to trust God every step of the way with this. because. I don't know exactly uh, how God was going to get me through it, but actually every single part of the journey, I saw how God provided for me. He showed me the way and he showed me how I was going to get to the next point, all because I trusted in him. So what's next for me? Well, actually, this is the last time that you're ever going to see me in this room because I'm actually moving out this week. So uh, I'll be filming in a different location. I'm actually going to be moving just down the road because next year I'm actually going to be staying in Barnet. As you might have heard from my results, I'm going to be staying in uh, North London in Barnet for another year before I go off to Theological College. So what am I going to be doing for this next year? Well, I'm going to be working for Christchurch here for another two days a week, a bit like what I've been doing before as an intern. So I'll be doing that part-time, but then also part-time, I'll also be doing um, another part-time job, which I'm still kind of working out as well but I'll be in a new location. I'll be living with one of the other members from the church, which will be great. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get to, to do some filming in that. But you'll see lots more from me in the future. Uh, just to say sorry that I haven't been able to film much over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. And with the summer coming up, it's a lot, it's a lot harder to kind of get those times in. 
Uh, I'm away a lot during the summer. I go to places like New Wine and uh, I'll be going on and doing some mission in Serbia uh, in a couple of weeks time as well. So there's lots of different things that are coming up, but I'll try and keep you updated and keep on, keep on giving you um, videos to watch most weeks if you can. Please do uh, leave any comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see more of in the future. And please do hit that subscribe button as well. Um, but yeah, that's all from me today. I hope to keep you updated in the future and I'll see you soon. Bye. You've been watching videos with me, Ben Grist. If you enjoyed it, then please do hit that subscribe button. But also feel free to leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like to see more of in the future. See you soon.